Hey YouTube. The other day I woke up and I found a little clutch of mystery snail eggs there. Thought I'd do a quick video and show you guys how to hatch mystery snail eggs. You don't have to worry about trying to breed them. They'll uh they'll just kinda do it on their own. Yeah, as long as you got male and a female in there, they'll just automatically lay their own eggs. Alright, I'll show you guys the next step. So now I've got the eggs. I took the eggs out of the tank. And I got this Tupperware container. And uh, I drilled a whole bunch of holes in it. Um, the holes are around maybe twice the size of each individual egg. So that when the eggs hatch they can get down into the water here. This water I took directly out of the aquarium. So the next step we take this, take another Tupperware container put a couple holes in it for ventilation and just place it over top like that put a couple pieces of tape on either side just to hold it in place and what you want to do is you want to spray inside the lid with just like a regular spray bottle or whatever just mist the lid very lightly every two three days um, the eggs will hatch between two to four weeks. Um, if you keep them warm enough and the humidity right, they'll hatch in exactly two weeks. So it's been exactly 15 days and the snails have hatched now. Um, when you notice them start to fall into the water and you notice some, sna some snails actually in the water you want to take out the the rest of the eggs that are still sitting on the uh, that middle piece and kind of swish it around in the water a little bit and uh, you'll feel the eggs kind of uh, starting to dissolve and you'll see all the rest of the snails falling down to the bottom uh, mind you not all of them will survive. I'm going to wait a couple days, leave them in here for a couple more days. And uh, whatever ones are kind of bobbing around or haven't really moved at all, um, they're most likely dead. So you just, you know, kind of throw them out. They are extremely small when they're born. Um, so all I did was I took the... Uh, the center piece out, the um, took the that center piece there out, and I'm just gonna leave them leave them in here, just like this for probably about two two or three more days. So it's been about two days since the eggs hatched. And I got this It's a like a fry breeder or a quarantine tank Looks like mama wants to come check out her babies and This is the little guys here As you can see there Extremely, extremely small. Um, so I just took all the ones that were active and moving around and eating, and uh, the rest of them. You just get rid of. Still got a decent amount in here. It's 
probably a good 50, 40, 58, 40, 50 uh, snails in there. Which isn't bad. Now, because because the snails are so active and they can climb up the sides and everything, I always put put this piece of plastic over the top and just tape it down so nothing can get in or out. I feed them, I just throw some flake food or um, like beta pellets and I'll throw in some um, some blood worms usually keeps them good and healthy, helps them grow fast I always put them in a quarantine tank like this because if you don't the other fish will <laughs> eat them up pretty quick so and there you have it that's how I breed my mystery snails thanks for watching have a good one